Hi, my name is Laurie Jeffords, and I want to tell you a little bit about the benefits of breastfeeding. I know you're probably thinking, how can anyone talk about breastfeeding for three minutes? What does that have to do with me? I want to take a little bit of time to tell you a few facts about breastfeeding. First, did you know that a mother makes many different types of milk? The first type of milk a mother makes is called colostrum. Colostrum is a sweet, sticky, yellow substance that doesn't look much like milk. The body only produces about several teaspoons of colostrum every day. Colostrum is full of vitamins, minerals, proteins, and immunoglobulins. Immunoglobulins are a special type of protein that help the body fight disease. A newborn stomach is about the size of a large marble, about that big, and holds about a teaspoon of colostrum. Colostrum is often called the baby's first immunization because of all of the positive things that are in it. About two to four days after delivery, the body starts making mature milk. You may have heard a mother say, my milk came in. After delivery, the body starts making a hormone called prolactin. This signals the body to make milk and to make it fast. The body begins to produce milk rapidly. This is perfect for the baby. On day three of the newborn's life, the belly increases in size up to the size of about a ping pong ball and holds about an ounce at a time. On day 10 of the baby's life, the baby's belly is about the size of an egg and can hold about one and a half to two ounces of milk. The mother's body produces just enough milk to feed the baby. Breastfeeding has many benefits for the infant. Breast milk is easily digested. This means that the infant has less colic and less gas. Breastfeeding also lowers the baby's risk of infection, diabetes, childhood obesity, allergies, and asthma and most important, sudden infant death syndrome. Babies who are breastfed consistently have higher IQ scores of up to five higher points. But what about mom? Surely mom gets some benefits from this too. Well, she does. First of all, breastfeeding helps to shrink the uterus back to its normal size faster after delivery. This means less postpartum bleeding. The mother has a lower risk of postpartum depression, uterine, ovarian, and breast cancer, and breastfeeding mothers burn an extra 500 calories per day. The World Health Organization recommends that a baby be exclusively breastfed for the six, six months of life. After the first six months of life, babies should be supplemented with food and breastfed up to two years or beyond. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends exclusive breastfeeding for the infant up to six months. Then the infant should be supplemented with food and breastfeeding should continue until 12 months of age or until mutually desired by mother and baby. Breastfeeding is a natural way to feed the baby.